Okay, guys, let's go over this uh, so we can record it the correct way. Um, all right, so this morning we did two videos. We did a video on crude oil was in a range market. So we have a method to buy where these circles are at, buy the lows, sell the highs. Please play that video, how to trade range or chop. There's only two things a market can do on any given market, futures, stocks, forex, any market you trade. And it can either be range or chop. It was chop this morning. So please play that video on how to trade range and chop, how we can sell the highs, buy the lows on my market profiles. The second video we did was how to trade trend. We had a hard trend in gold all day today. And so if you look at gold, we just been getting cranked in gold today. And we did a video how to enter on this big massive move down, we had over a thousand dollar trade potential on gold with a hundred and ten dollar risk, a ten to one reward to risk. We had over a five hundred dollar trade potential, and then we had over a four hundred and fifty dollar trade potential and a seven hundred. So if you want to see how we accomplish that, um, go ahead and play that video how to trade trend. Now what we did this morning though, I'm gonna do a third video for the day so you have a complete trading suite on how to trade these markets every day is I want to look at how do we project this big trade right here on crude. At 8.30 this morning, we were in a range market, and my methodology is very simple with market profile, is that you sell the high, and buy, sell the high, buy the low on green LVA, red HVA on the first and second test, and then what we do is we look for what's called an ABC short or ABC long outside of the range. And I projected this an hour before it even happened, and we were stalking this trade. The traders in the room, and a lot of the members posting the room, they got this trade. Congratulations on that. So let's see how we do this. It's a simple break retest trade that we look for outside of range. So if the market's in range, we're going to wait for the first and second test of that range on the outer edges, and then we're going to look for a break retest outside of HVA or LVA for a nice big trade setup to go back into trend. And this is what I was looking for. I'm looking for a breakout, retest a profile. Now, another thing that can help you out is, I was telling traders, is watch your symmetry dots. We don't take any arrows at all. So if you notice this morning, we were in between symmetry and range. Okay, see how flat the moving averages are? We don't take any of these arrows. One method I have is don't take any retracement arrows at all. Don't touch them. That's part of our rules. We do not touch and range arrows. We only trade arrows with trend. That's it. That's how we got those big trades on gold this morning. We had three back-to-back -back big trades on gold with trend. We only trade arrows with trend or break retest of symmetry out of range. So what I was expecting is I was anticipating the market to break out of, of market profile, retest profile, consequently break outside of our symmetry dots. See our symmetries here, and then look for a retest and go short. And sure enough, we got a beautiful trade right there. I'll highlight this. It broke symmetry dots. It broke our market profile, and then we had the beautiful, gorgeous arrow, Fibonacci arrow short right over here on the retest. There's your retest. There's the arrow I was looking for. So your fill right there, and I asked members in the room, a lot of them got filled at 15 to 16, and she got as low as, what, 74. So a nice, nice trade as far as that goes um, on the downside. Big move down. Look how fast that is, too. The reason you see fast price action like this on breakouts like that is because you're catching all the wrongly positioned traders that are amateur traders that have no clue about price action. We caught all those traders long. We knew to wait for the break after the second test. It broke. It retested. We stocked this trade for over an hour. We know not to take arrows in a range flat market, only sell the high by the low on the first and second test. And then we got the break. My methodology is to break symmetry, retest symmetry. And sure enough, we wait for the arrow. We don't take any arrows on the three unless we break Blow symmetry and retest. The arrow fired. It got us in that trade. And sure enough, we had a nice explosive move to the downside. So the one thing I want you to take from this video too, if you're in range markets, the markets form what's called a symmetrical wedge. 
symmetrical wedge is composed of at least two higher lows and two lower highs. The, the market was wedging before it broke out. That gives you even more power to the trade. Break, retest. There we go. We stocked that trade for an hour. Now I'm going to look for another trade live right here at 72.05. 72.05 as we come back up and test. We're going to look for negative market delta here at 72.05 for another stem down.